Hey everyone, the Ronnie Davini here, and um, we've got a small tutorial here, smallish. It's a bit more advanced than the last one, but um, should be good no less. So, um, what we're going to be doing here is this result uh, that I have here. Get closer, see something's over there. It starts appearing, and it can be creepy. Can be really good for a horror game, or maybe even hologram. Can work well, in other words. This was not a script as much as just shader work when Strumpy Shader Editor. Um, so what I've got here is one moment. Bring it up. Get that out of the way. So this is the uh, the bare bones of um, what I have. So it's very simple to create actually. I'll I'll build it up from the ground up. Just one second while I just delete everything. Don't worry, we can get back to that very easily. Um, at least uh, I know how. Um, so, the first things first, when you go to settings, name it. Uh, and just a couple things. You, if you're wanting that creepy look I have there, change things to these Q settings to transparent. And blending settings to just decal blend. And you should get that effect that you saw when I, of what you had there when it was... um. When the al when it had the alpha, so the first things first, we'll need to um, get the texture in. Oh yes, by the way, that character there is a uh, Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. He has been my test dummy for a long time. Just a warning. Uh, but at the same time, I I'm kind of a sickening fan of him. So yeah, no shame in that, I guess. So we change. Okay, we we can change this. Uh, the sampler here, we need a sampler and text 2D. Just think them up. Next thing we'll need is um, an input node. Look for. No, actually, is that the input? I gotta remember. Nope. That's in function. Distance. This, this is gonna calculate the distance between um, one number and, and, uh, and another and apply it into, um, into in, as a result, into like. An algorithm. So, uh, most you'll need to know is that it'll detect the difference between two items and make and make a number out of that. So, what we need is a difference between this texture, distance at least between this texture, the place of this texture. Wait, I did something wrong. Different distance between the uh, the mesh UV because we need the mesh the objects UVs. And this is like to check that how how far away it is from the object that has these UVs. Check UV one because um oh that's the first UV map that you set that you'll use unless you have a second one, which is um fine to use anyway. Yep, and the second one we'll need is screen position. You might remember in the last tutorial, I um, tried to use this and went a bit too crazy with it. Um, but this is how it works here. It'll create a number between these two. And um, that's actually one thing we can do here is subtract. Get the subtract, wherever you are. Subtract, here we go. Give me this long. Need to subtract the you get to subtract this uh, numer numeral from the texture. Let's plug this in down here. Plug this in the diffuse. Save. And export. I'm not sure why I like so much running exports, but um, it does. It does on the college computers as well. So I assume it it um might be just the stroppy compiling. Alright, let's try this out. It's, it's uh, going to look a You'll notice one thing as well. You have to get right up to it to see it. Oh yeah, by the way, the um, this character control I have is uh, one of the standard Unity assets. You can import right off a of Unity by going to Game Object, uh, sorry, Assets, Import Package, and go right to the package you want. So there'll be, I'll be Character Controller. 
also notice here that you have to get right up to him to see him at all. Just because it's, uh, it's a bit sensitive right now. So what we'll need to do is... Nah. Come on, it shouldn't be lagging this much. Apologies. Next thing we'll need to do is, uh, is actually, we're going to multiply this number by, uh, by a float. This is going to extend the numbers that we, that we need just just a bit further. So it'll still do the uh, full full length to full full a uh, full or wide. So um, that's what we will need, and let's multiply these. See, I've already made a numeral for that, so I can use it again. Just click, click drag, click on, click on that. It's made a previous uh, input that you kept, and we can uh, just apply it again. Right, let's try this. And down here, you'll notice um, a little, a good little um, exposed uh, variable. So let's change this a little bit. I'm going to change this up or down, change the distance and how quickly he um, he uh, disappears. Change it to 4.6 and we should get... Uh, uh, it's not quite working yet. However, let's do this. Click out. And... That was his eyes, That's, of course. Closer again. Ah, yep, yep. That's uh, not so much the distance, but how strong it, is, it appears to be. So, that means we'll have to do something a little different. But, well, you get the, some of the idea, hopefully. Hmm. Yes, I know what I did there. Let's hop these around. So one one takes distance to go to be multiplied with the uh, the numeral because here we're just multiplying the colors rather than just the 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 number here. And to subtract the the texture with this and the end texture to go into these. In mind, you can this is a whole bunch of ways you can do this, but. Uh, well, what it works for you, and you can know, even just have one which you can play around with endless, endlessly and just make some awesome changes with it. Let's try this again. See this? Aha. There we go. Let's change things. Depending on the distance you are. Nope. Because <laughs> I got that messed up. Okay, let's try this again. I might have forgotten a single numeral. Oh, single function, or whatever you call it here. Node. Um, hmm. Let's think about this for a second. So we've got the position of the screen, the UV maps. And there's one last thing we need to do, and that will be, um, sorry, I'm going to play this into here again. Just down here. Yep, that will do. Let's see what we can do with this. Sorry for the uh, delay, but this way we can increase the distance a bit. Hmm. I just thought we can pro probably, um, not so much multiply, but add. 
at the number. Um, no, I could be wrong. Remember how I said this is going to be a short tutorial? I could have been wrong. Uh, diffuse Alpha. Save. Export. Lag. Again. Go away. Yeah, you see, it's actually starting to work a bit better now. So we got a better distance threshold. Let's in. Let's look down here. It works, it's working for the eye so far. And um, they have a little so run run down what we just did. And it um, freezes. So what we did was we got the uh, screen position of the, of the player compared to the mesh that the uh, texture is on, like uh, the UVs. Got the distance between. Uh, got. And subtracted the texture texture with the uh, distance. Just think about it that way. Um, then what what we did was we added the add, add this um the, these numerals together. The extended distance, which is a number we can change. Two, the uh, number we the uh, the, var the variable we um. We actually change and we, we end up with from subtracting. So we added those together to get an extra bit of distance. And um, then we just simply uh, put in diffuse and alpha. And that's actually how it worked. <laughs> um, hopefully that was of some help. Uh, that, remember that inputs like um, screen position can be useful. And there's other ones along, along the way like. Uh, well, plenty of these. You can, you can, um, you, there's, there's even, more, remember there's also more on graph than the pixel graph. Pixel graph shows up as what your, what, um, the main texture looks like. I can go through later is, uh, the vertex and lighting. Next one will be vertex. It's a fairly, uh, fun graph to play around with. Alright, thank you for, uh, for watching.